Right, hello everybody, English Woodsman here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, most of all, thank you very much for clicking on my video. Now, I am in my back garden, so you might hear a bit of background noise from these neighbours and roadside there, so do forgive me for hearing any loud noise. Uh, I think you could tell by the thumbnail picture. Uh, I've been using the OX equipment for three or four years now, and I've never really had any problems or I've never been disappointed with any of the equipment but I ordered this and I ordered this the two new OEX torches so you've got your hand torch what's a uh, rechargeable torch through sort of USB lead stick thing USB lead and then you've got the head torch now even though I put I'm very disappointed I'm only disappointed really with the head torch because I don't think OEX has really paid much attention to it. You know, it, it is a bit disappointing for me to say I'm disappointed with something to do with OEX equipment. Now, the strap is there. You've got to put it all together yourself and do all this. I can't fidgety stuff at the moment <sighs> this is the part what I'm frustrated with it's cheap it's tacky I can buy it better off Amazon for five pound now I know some people watching my channel now are saying it's not like me to be disappointed by something from OEX but I am disappointed with this just listen to this Look at the hinge, that's going to break, honestly. A few times, you know, that's just going to snap. The settings for it, so you've got your 150 lumens there, then you've got your 30 lumens there, then you've got this. Flashing red light. Now, come on, I know full well, if we're going to be camping, we need that red light to be a permanent red light. It just gives you that stealth mode. You don't have to be worrying about people seeing you from a distance because you're not having that shining around. You're not having this shining around. You're having a red light. It really makes you stealth mode if that's what you're doing. I don't see what this is. This is what your jewels on a bicycle like. It's something you see on the back of a bike. I'm telling you. Even to get this undone. You can't get it undone by your hands. You've got to push down on these two things here. You just can't do it, honestly. Oh, damn, I hurt my finger. Just to change. Look. Just to change the three batteries, you've got to go through all that. Look, it ain't even clipping together right. But, am I right? Is it just like a cheap little bike's called light? Like? What is the flashing lights about OEX? We need that, a steady red light. This is no good. The minute go outdoors open near me and puts it, I'm taking this back. It's not for camping. It's not for anything to do with that. If you want to go stealth camping, Using that red light is a no-go. You need a solid red light. Now the hand torch, it's a bit better. Well, it's a lot better. You got to, you turn it. The more you turn it, the more it adjusts. So if I can just flash it back there, you know, the more you turn it, the more it works like that. So close up. Walk around, need to see where you're going. Yeah, it's all right. It's, a, it's slightly heavy. It's not exactly lightweight. It's 500 lumens. It don't really give. It's just the stuck a sticker right over all the information part. 10 watt ultra bright white LED bulbs. Well, it goes. E R E. 
C R E E bulbs or bulb. Rechargeable battery, so yeah, that's it. it's rechargeable. That's what I like about it. Twist to charge. Oh, there we go. So what you got to do is see that that part there. You got to turn that all the way down. And then that becomes open. And then you stick the part in there like that. I didn't even see that bit of right in there. So that's how you charge it. You know what I can I'm gonna use this a lot because I, I quite like the hand torch. I like the way it's rechargeable, so you don't have to keep swapping your batteries. You can always charge them off a power bank if you've got enough power in your power bank as well. See how that did that then? Bit noisy, but it's, it's all right. It's not too bad. The hand torch, the head torch. That's all right. That's all right. That is a massive disappointment. I want this for, you know, stealth camping, woodland camping, and even if you go out on a night walk, just to have your red light on. You're not going to want that. You know, that's something you see on the back of a push bike. I don't normally have issues with OX equipment, like I've said. This is probably the only piece of OX equipment I've been disappointed with. So, yeah, people, you've seen a piece that I don't like about OX equipment is the head torch. Like I've said a few times, I think it's cheap. I think they need to remake it. It looked like some of what they made in year 2000. They need to come up to more the modern day stuff now, because that is just noisy. That is disgusting. They need to really look at this. But this, this is alright. This is doable. What I'll do, I'll uh, put some more videos on when it gets dark of me showing the brightness of the torch. Right, so I'm back out. It's half past ten. It's not, it doesn't get mega dark really now anyway. So, if you are a Yorwix user and you've got some OX equipment that you'd like to share your thoughts about, you can share it in my OEX Facebook group. I'll put it in the uh, description below you can check that out add yourself to the group right let's get on with this torch so this is the bicycle head torch whatever all we want to call it so that's the full beam that's the next one what's not really much and then this is your red one So your full beam's all right. Your next one's a bit, it's all right. It's not too bad if you're doing something close to where you need to be. But your red one, what you want for stealth camping or camping when you don't want to be seen too much is a whole lot of rubbish. Right, so this hand one has got some settings. So that's the bright one. And then you can obviously, like I said, adjust it right into what you want to see there but it lightens up quite a lot of my garden and you press it it's a slightly duller and then you got your strobe light so you got your full that one and then your strobe light now what I would like OEX to do is change the uh, this one, if I can get it up to your right, change the and one and see if they can put the red setting light setting in there. So you got all in one. But still, I'd like them to concentrate on getting the uh, head torch a lot better. Because I think a lot more people will actually like it if they did that. And I'm sorry, light's a bit rubbish and picture quality's a bit bad for it, but. That is a major letdown, people. It really is. Right, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll definitely see you on for another video. Any thoughts about this video, do comment below, let me know, and do check out that Facebook group.